Hey friends, it's Friday. That means it's time for your Friday weekly wrap up where we'll do one card for the collective and one card for people who request to talk about the week that was. If you happen to be here on Monday for your three card weekly reading and you happen to remember what your card was, let me know in your request because it's always fun to look at the card we got at the beginning of the week and the card we get at the end of the week. I'm Christiana Gaudette. I am your tarot fairy godmother, and I'm so happy to see you here today. Um, to uh, all the members, thank you so much for being here. And to those of us who were able to, to those of you who were able to join us last night for our members only live stream, thanks so much for that. If you weren't able to join, you might want to check out the replay. I think some fun things happen that, that would be worth watching for sure. And members, uh, we do have our April members only live stream already scheduled. It's already up. Uh, so go ahead and make sure you put that on your calendar. And speaking of calendars, Monday is April Fool's Day. And we have Global Tarot Circle, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. I hope you'll join us. We should talk about The Fool. And I'm promising to, I don't know, prank you or do something silly. I, I don't know what it's going to be, but I, we're going to do something. So I hope you join us. All right. Let's get on over to uh, Card Cam and get going. So last night there was a request for Weird Cat Tarot, and uh, oh, I, we haven't gone there yet. Sorry, hang on. Let me, let me actually go there. Ah, there we are. Okay, good, good. There it is, Weird Cat Tarot. Last night, there was a request for said Weird Cat Tarot, and uh, I didn't want to use it last night because, no, but for today, yes. Okay. So, um, when I was getting ready to do this broadcast, I, I checked. Thank you all so much for like coming in early, getting your questions in. I didn't see anyone um, with the list of cards from Monday. Uh, if, if you did do that, thank you so much. But I just went back and checked. And so we started like with this really great reading. Remember, it was the Page of Wands, the Knight of Wands and the Three of Cups. That was our collective reading. Did you all have a good week? I had a good week. I, I got no complaints. Yeah, 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 absolutely. All right, I ah, here it was, Audrey M. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Collective cards were Three of Cups, Knight of Wands, and Page of Wands. So, Collective card for Friday. Ooh, ouch. This is why we like to check though. The Three of Cups was one of our Monday cards and now it comes up reversed. So did anyone have like the week started out good and then it went bad? Did anyone have, yeah, the week was fine, but there was some weird social stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, Lisa Byrose, good to see you. I made it awesome. Pamela Laith, good to see you. Thanks for being a member. Best I've had in a month. Yeah, okay. Okay. Fair enough. And it, it might be, it was a great week, but, you know, some people got to be people and, you know, there's always going to be people people and, and, and maybe this is just an acknowledgement of that, that even in the best of times, and even with the best of people, some people going to be people and. So there, uh, the, there it is. But I do think that's interesting. Does anyone else have insight on like starting out the week with the three of cup, uh, cups upright and then ending it with the three of cups reversed? Um, for me, I think it's like spent like we got to spend the entire day taking care of the grandkids on Sunday. And we don't get to do that very often because we're so busy. And so that was like a very three of cups thing for me at the beginning of the week. And toward the end of the week, I'm like, oh, I want to see the babies. Well, they're not really babies anymore. Uh, so like for me, it's, it's kind of, it's that push pull on the people that you care about and how I really want to see them. So I, I feel like that can be a thing too. All right.
And Audrey M, once again, thanks for being here. Thanks for sharing the collective cards. Thanks for being a member and for using members only emojis. Your Monday card was the six of wands reversed. All right, let's see what we got. And now we end up with the 10 of swords reversed. So in the first case, six of wands reversed, we don't love that reversal. In this case, we do love this reversal. So I do feel like you're working through some stuff, Audrey. I feel like there's not the heaviest, not the worst, but there is some heavy stuff you're working through. And I, I really see this as, as sort of affirmation that you're getting through it and you're doing the work and you're doing what you need to do. Oh, interesting. Free shadow. Good to see you. My week started great, but work tanked and my emotions with it. Yeah, got it. And that would, that would make sense with starting with that three of cups upright and then ending it with, you know, with it reversed. So interesting. All right. 64 Amy Penn. Good to see you. On Monday, I had the king of pentacles reversed. But you end with the ace of wands. So there may be some things that are making you angry and you want to make sure you channel that in the right direction. But I do think that you, even in difficult circumstances, found some energy to move things forward in a positive way. So I feel like that's really good. Audrey, I'm trying. I understand. I understand. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Here's, here's another... I was saying that to Audrey. I don't know if I mentioned Audrey's name. She's just like, I'm trying. I'm like, oh, I get it. I get it. Okay, Christine Hallowell. I had a good week, but my son is sick. Ear infection, bronchitis, and pneumonia. Out of school until next week. So, so yeah, that could be, you know, three of cups reverse, three of cups upright kind of a thing for sure. For sure. So sorry. I hope he feels better soon. Marion Newbury, you're up next. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a member. And thanks for using members only emojis. And we think your Monday card was the Ace of Cups reversed. And now the Knight of Cups reversed. So it's a theme. It's a theme. And, and I remember the question. It was definitely your card because I remember like, in what way are you not feeling the love? In what way are you not feeling connected to things you love or people you love? Like what's missing in there? And I feel like the universe isn't going to let you go until you find a way to sort of answer those questions and heal those things. I'm not saying that's always what's going to be in your cards, but I feel like there's a thing there. So, you know, and something this week has brought it to the surface. So it's not... You know, readings like that are hard because it's like, yeah, okay, you got this thing and you got to do it. You don't have to do it, but you're better off if you do do it. And I think, you know, we who work with the cards, we're very self-aware people to begin with. And so it's probably all stuff you have awareness of, most very likely. And, uh, you know, feel seen by the universe. That's, that's really all I can say. And recognize that there is opportunity here for real healing. All right. Topeka, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. A card to end your week. I shuffled, but you also got the Knight of Cups reversed. You're not feeling the love either. I feel like there may have been some disconnect with friends or with people that you care about. Um, things may not be moving in your love life the way you would want them to. So I, I feel like there here has been you know, maybe not the easiest week as well. And I think the thing you have to do is give yourself some love. Gemini Sun, good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a moderator. We appreciate you. Uh, my Monday card, I believe, was the reverse Knight of Wands. You told me to find my truth this week. I don't know if I did, but I worked on it. Well, that's all a person can do. And now we have the Four of Cups reversed. And what that feels like really is making the best of situations. 
And I think those of us with the ability to do that will, will always go far in life. And I think this week you, you had some difficult situations. You made the best of it. You worked through it. I think everything's fine. And I think you just really proved yourself in some way this week. So well done. All right, Caroline McLaughlin, so good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a member. Thanks for using members only emojis. Monday, you had the Queen of Wands reversed. And today you have Strength reversed. So these two fire cards, both reversed, that's kind of your week, where you may not be feeling your best. You may not be feeling um, as happy or as connected or as well as you would like to be. Um, and with strength reverse, there's just a sense of like, it could be a sense of feeling over it. It could be a sense of just feeling a little bit angry or agitated. And so make sure you breathe and recognize that this too shall pass. And I think that you're going to need some replenishment, whatever you can do to replenish. I think it would be helpful. All right, Barbie Bird, good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a member. Thanks for using members only emojis. And yes, today is Good Friday. Yesterday was Monday, Thursday. It is Holy Week. Um, so for those of you who celebrate, um, lots of love. And uh, let's see, on Monday, Barbie, you got the Six of Cups reversed. I sort of remember that. And now the Four of Pentacles reversed. And so if I put those two cards together, what I would say is this week you have done some real work healing from the lack of boundaries that were, for, from the lack of boundaries in your childhood. And you're doing real healing work. That's what I would say when I put those two cards together. Kimmy's Divination Station, good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a member. Monday was the Page of Cups reversed. And thank you for that reading last night. Well, that was my great pleasure. Thanks for being there. We always have so much fun in our members only live streams. Okay, so Monday for you, Kimmy, was the Page of Cups reversed. And now the Two of Pentacles. So I feel like, you know, there's so much that you're going through. Like, on one hand, you're just kind of trying to do the day-to-day, -day, get her done, get her done, get her done. On the other hand, I think there's this ongoing situation where you're just hoping that things can be okay and you're worried about repeats of things that happened in the past. And I think it's been a little bit of a tough week for those reasons. But with the Two of Pentacles, it looks like everything is keeping on. You know, it, it looks all right. Not the most fun, but all right. You got your strawberries balanced there. You're all right. Okay. Diana Price, good to see you. Thank you so much for being here. Monday was the Ace of Pentacles. I won the lottery. Okay, no, I didn't, but the sky didn't fall either. I'll take that as a win. Good enough, good enough. All righty. So, Diana, right, you had that whole little dance with the Ace of Pentacles over a period of a couple of weeks, did you not? I shuffled, and you also got the Four of Cups reversed. So Ace of Pentacles, Four of Cups reversed. There are good things. Not everything is perfect, but you are making the best of everything and that is working. And that's what you've done this week. That's what you got to continue to do. Well done. Hey, Trey Cameron, good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a member. Rose Rose, good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a member. Thanks for using members only emojis. My Monday card was the Page of Wands. Um, let's see. Okay. Your Monday card was the page of wands. It's been a stressful week. Okay. Here we go. 
You started with the Page of Wands and you ended with the Seven of Wands reversed. And I mean, I think the whole message of the week is it's a lot. What you're dealing with is a lot and you're aware that it's a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And I think there are moments where you feel like it's just more than you can wrap your brain around. But you're doing it, you know, a little bit at a time you're doing it. And so there it is. There it is. It's, it's not the easiest, but I think it's accurately reflecting the, the very hard thing you're going through right now. So there it is. Ah, Barbie Bird, just catching up. Thank you for my card. Honestly, I do think I've done some work this week. And I'm in my childhood home this week. Um, okay, yeah, no, that makes sense with those cards for sure. And like, that's an example of tarot being super literal, right? Where, okay, six of cups reversed. I'm in my childhood home, literally. Yeah, there you go. Um, ah, Diana. I had a very eventful week in retrospect. Landlord, bad landlord blow up. Oh my gosh. Uh, but my friend visited. Um, they're getting me a nice apartment. Okay, it's huge relief. So, okay, yeah, that all makes sense. That all makes sense. Um, and Caroline, thank you for your feedback. Um, so yeah, okay, so you've got a lot. Grandkids coming home for Easter. Uh, good that your husband is washing the floors. Gotcha. So there's a lot. I, I get it. I get it. But happy Easter. It's a great thing too. All right, Cassandra. So good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a member. Thanks for using members only emojis. Um, oh, I was right last week. Boyfriend had military duty this month, but he comes home tonight. Hallelujah day. And we are so grateful for his um, service. So thank you. All right. So Cassandra... We end the week with the sun reversed, and I think that has everything to do with sort of the anticipation of your beloved's return. Um, and also maybe some other things this week that, you know, we're good, we're fine, maybe not perfect, but good and fine. And um, I mean, with the sun reversed, there's a sense of how like it would be desperately good if you could stop time and just take a few hours for yourself where no one would miss you. But since that's not happening right now, that's all right. That's all right. Since that's not happening right now, I, uh, I think we have to take the win that it is, and, and this week was a win. So there you go. All right. And for Raquel, and Raquel's a member as well. We appreciate you. Okay, here we go. So for Raquel, ending the week, with the Nine of Cups reversed, there are some things that are not going as you would like them to go. And uh, I think you were very clear about that this week. And I think getting that clarity is really helpful. The question now is, and what do you want to do about it? All right, Melissa Grasso, good to see you. Thanks for being here. Um, thanks for being a member. Thanks for using members only emojis. Good to see you. You started with the two of swords reversed and we end with the emperor. So I feel like you started out in this sort of disquieted way, but over time, like I feel like you're ending much more solid is the way that's showing up. And so... I feel like you're doing a good job where work is concerned and also just doing a good job sort of balancing your life and making your life work. So, good. DH, good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a member. Monday was the Five of Cups reversed. 
I shuffled, but you also got the emperor. And so there is this thing of like, life gives you lemons, you make lemonade, and then you become the king of all making of lemonade or something like that. You know, just this sense of having to deal with some difficulty um, to some level of stability very quickly. So it feels like you did well this week. Smile Soul 20, good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a member. Here is a card for the wrap up. The Ace of Pentacles reversed. So I wonder if you get some time off perhaps. Um, if you had some time off or if you get time off over the weekend, maybe for the holiday. I, I feel like there may have been one thing that happened at work or something that happened at work that was not like the best or your favorite. Um, and something may have made you feel a little destabilized. But, you know, I'm remembering, like, I, 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 I was feeling good about the week going into it. So I don't know, but I feel like you need to do something right now to help yourself feel more grounded. That I can tell you for sure. All right. Christine Hallowell, good to see you. Thanks for being here. Nine of Swords reversed. And of course, your son's been sick all week. That's, that's so sad. I'm so sorry. Okay, so you started with the Nine of Swords reversed and end with the Five of Cups. So that is this sort of making the best of a difficult situation, which is what I think you've had to do at least for the last few days. And, and I think you're doing it well and, and things will be improving soon. Oh, Smile Soul 23 day weekend, yes. And there was a coworker not doing her part. Boo, yes, I hate it when that happens. Blech. Tyrone Taro, so good to see you. Thanks for being here. Five of Swords reversed on Monday. Nine of Pentacles reversed today. So I wonder if something happened this week, like with the five of swords reversed, you know, there's this sense of just not rising to the battle, but with the nine of pentacles reversed, there's a sense of feeling like you don't have everything that you want. And so now I'm going to put all that together and sort of ask you this question, like what is worth fighting for and, and what happened this week? that would that would make that a pertinent question to ask how's that for a mysterious reading all right ah rose rose yeah yeah thanks for that feedback all right tj in ga it's so good to see you thanks for being here a card for you and for your daughter of course for you tj the moon reversed i think this week you got some clarity on something. You solved some mysteries. You figured something out. Well done. For your daughter, six of cups. You may have talked to a friend or spent some time with a friend that you hadn't seen in a while. You may have done something that sort of felt really affirming and good. So, so that feels really nice. Hey, Liz Harrison. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a member. Thanks for using members only emojis. Okay, Monday was the Eight of Cups. And now we have the Ten of Swords reversed. Man, it is never easy, is it? Oh my goodness. So I, I just, I feel like this week inherently is a struggle. Like it is. And I think you're getting through it the very best way a person possibly could. So well done. Okay, Lisa Byroads, good to see you. Thanks for being here. Two of Cups reversed on Monday. Seven of Cups reversed today. So with these reversed cups, I want to say there might be more you need to do sort of to feed your soul. There might be more you need to do in terms of that kind of self-care. Um... I feel like, you know, I look at these two cards together, the two of cups reversed and the seven of cups reversed. And I feel like it's about learning not to let other people feed you a whole bunch of craziness. 
and like just learning to stay in your own lane and not let other people wind you up. And I, I don't know if something happened this week that, that fits in with that, but I feel like you did a good job keeping your inner peace regardless of some attempts to steal that piece from you this week. Yeah, Liz, that's the only way to take it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, Mix you are good to see you. How are you, Michelle? Glad you're here. Um, Empress reversed on Monday. Man, this is stalking us. I am shuffling people. Ten of Swords reversed. Oh, golly gosh. But you know, especially with starting with the Empress reversed and, and just knowing the whole family thing, but also knowing what your mom is going through. I feel like this week you did a very good job carrying the very many burdens that you carry. That's what I'm going to say. You are carrying a lot of burdens. You know, this is a fact. We know this. You did a good job. And with the reversal here, Mix You Ear, I, I would sort of think that maybe some of the things that have been particularly difficult of late might be lessening, might be getting a little better. All right. Febborn, good to see you. Thanks for being here. Uh, Monday was the Seven of Cups. You're up next. I just want to grab this. Uh, I want to grab this feedback because, hey, when people tell me I'm right, I, I just got to soak that up, right? Uh, Lisa Byroads, thank you. As usual, you hit it. And I refrain from hitting the person as well. I'm so proud of myself. But the knee-jerk reaction felt that impulse. Man, good for you, though. That's what we all have to do. Impulse control. That's... That's what it is. Well done. I appreciate you too. Oh, interesting. Tyrone, you pulled the nine of pentacles for yourself as well. Very interesting. All right. Okay. Febborn. Here we go. Monday was the seven of cups. Friday is strength reversed. There is, there's is so much that has you unsettled, right? You're getting ready for change and change is always unsettling. And this week, I think you've spent some time figuring out, like, just how bad is this going to be? But I would also invite you to consider just how good could this be? And let's stay open. Okay. Marion, you are very welcome. Justine, good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a member. Thanks for being a moderator and for using members-only emojis. Monday was the Ten of Pentacles. And today is the Ace of Pentacles reversed. And I think if we put those two cards together, it really goes back and forth between the fact that you really are moving forward, but then it's the holiday week, and so that makes it hard. You really are moving forward, but then it's hard. You know, so there's this whole thing. You're moving forward, and it's hard. But that's okay, because at least you're moving forward. Yolanda, good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a member. Cards for you, Mark and Jenna, of course. Yolanda, King of Wands reversed. Like, I don't think this was the worst week. I think it was fine. Was it the best week? Also, probably not. But fine, you did fine. Sometimes that's all it has to, that's all it has to be. Now, for Jenna... There's that strength reversed, man. Something is, Jenna's in a mood. Something has upset her this week, so she may have some agitation or some upset. And for Mark, six of cups. I don't know, man. Mark is just playing with the fuzzy kitties while the, I don't know, man. Um, I feel like, I feel like Mark kind of this week Actually, especially with it being a holiday week, there may have been some connection with family or something of that nature. Perhaps that was a nice thing. Um, but there is also some sense that I'm getting with this Six of Cups for Mark is just this idea of, 
a pattern that repeats and how he may be coming aware of it and how, and maybe that would be a good thing. Maybe that would be good. All right. February, yes, I'm struggling with the decision. Yeah, and nothing to struggle with. It's, 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 you don't have to struggle. You don't, really, really. All right, Lily, good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a member. Thanks for using members only emojis. Here we go. The Four of Pentacles reversed. I think this week you may have done a little bit more than you wanted to. Maybe you spent a little bit more money than you wanted to. Maybe you didn't get as much sleep as you wanted to. Maybe you said too much. You know, it just feels like it was a little more than you wanted, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, and in fact, it might be not only fine, but not a bad thing at all. Von Ray, so good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a member. We appreciate you. Monday, you had the Knight of Cups reversed. And now you have the Hanged Cat, ah, also reversed. But I love this. I feel like you turned your week around. You started out like kind of dragging your butt, but you ended up really strong, large and in charge. And so I feel like as much as possible this week, you have tried to direct your energy appropriately. So very well done. Christine, good to see you. Uh, Christina, please excuse me. Christina, uh, good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a member. Monday was the Night of Wands. And, oh, and thank you for sharing the weekly cards. I appreciate it so much. And what good weekly cards they were too, right? Okay, so Monday was the Knight of Wands. This is stalking us today. Strength reversed. And you know, strength reversed with the Knight of Wands almost feels a little dangerous. I wonder if there is some situation in your life that feels like it's escalating, where you or someone else is pissed off. If that is the case, try to de-escalate. Try to de-escalate. Um... And if there is someone else around you who is like up in some righteous indignation, I would try not to feed that or give that any energy. Beyond that, there could be some real frustrations, some things this week that have been very frustrating to you. Um, so whatever you can do for like rest and self-care, probably appropriate. Joanne Ellis, good to see you. Thanks for being here. We appreciate you. Oh, you had the tower on Monday. You were right again. I'm sorry. All right. So let's see how we end the week. With the Knight of Wands reversed. And I think along with the tower, this idea of like not having things go the way you would like them to go. And so there has to be, I think, some level of acceptance for certain situations even if those situations feel untenable. And I think that's really what you've been grappling with. All right, Trey Cameron, so good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a member. We appreciate you. Judgment reversed on Monday. Here we go. There's that Ten of Swords reversed. It keeps stalking us. Judgment reversed, Ten of Swords reversed. I feel like this week you were really sort of in your dark place, but for a good reason. You know, really trying to do the work that you need to do to get through and on, if that makes sense. So not the most comfortable week, but I think a good week in a lot of ways. All right. Julie, good to see you. Thanks for being here. A card to end the week for you, of course. The Eight of Pentacles reversed. This week, you might have felt like you didn't get as much done as you wanted to, or some things are just not moving forward the way you want them to. And so there could be some frustration associated with that. 
Think about new ways to do things or what you need to learn in order to change things a little bit. Michelle F., it's so good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a member. Thanks for using members-only emojis. Here is your wrap-up card. Temperance reversed. It may have been a really tough week. Um, trying of your patience and feeling like you had problems without answers and feeling kind of out of balance. That's okay. This card asks you to be patient and patient is what you must be. This card is actually a good sign that the things you're working on will ultimately come together in a good way. Madiha Ness, so good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a member. Thanks for using members only emojis. Three of Wands on Monday. And now the Hermit. And I mean, I do think you did a good job this week with everything you had to do, but I think there's some ways that you may be feeling that you are not receiving the support that you should receive. And I think there are other ways it just feels heavy and hard. And so we have to have space for that, but also space for the knowledge that you are and have been acting with great wisdom. Hey, Martha, good to see you. Okay, Joyous Ocean. Joyous Ocean. Yeah, these cards are the best, aren't they? Okay, Joyous Ocean. On my, thanks for being a member. Thanks for being here. Happy day after your birthday. On Monday, you had the world. And today you have the two of wands. And I think you did your best this week to see good possibilities for yourself, which is what needs to be done. For Jada, the three of swords reversed and now the six of swords reversed. There is healing, but there's also resistance, you know? There's like, like this week, I think there was some resistance to logical thinking. Got caught too much in your emotions. That can happen. All right, now, let me go back. Hang on one second. I had over scrolled. Here we are. Betty Flesher, good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a member. We appreciate you. All right. <clears throat> Betty, seven of cups reversed. I think this week you could have dealt with a certain amount of internal chatter that was not helpful to you, but I think you're doing a really good job learning how to get up and over that. And I think you did some good work with that this week. Christina R., good to see you. Thanks for being here. Okay, cards for you, Karen and Kim, of course. Monday was the world reversed for you. And now the Ace of Wands. And so you end the week with new possibilities, new journeys, new opportunities, just as the card at the beginning of the week predicted. That's good. Um, Justine, I did you. I did, I did, I did. And it's worth going back and hearing. All right. Karen. Karen, you yourself are a member here, and we appreciate that. Um, you started with the Page of Pentacles reversed and end with the King of Wands reversed. What's with all these reversed people? I, I think a lot of that is just you sort of always being concerned for the people around you. That's not criticism. That's just fact. And it's not that the people around you are bad. They're fine. Everybody's fine. But I think that you have had sort of a, a, a worry list or a prayer list. Um, and that has taken some energy, but, but maybe appropriately. Maybe you're sending out that good energy in, in the right way. All right. And for Kim, Knight of Cups reversed, 
And now three of cups reversed. This was our collective card as well. So it's powerful. So there are some things going on, Kimmy, that are not making you happy. And that's a fact. And you've had to deal with some of that. And the question is, how do you deal with that going forward? Um, and how do, you, how do you make all of that work? Gianna, it's so good to see you. Thanks for, uh, thanks for being here. Here is a card for you. Gianna, you're getting this dreaded Ten of Swords reverse. So many people are getting it. This week, I think you did a good, a good job working on your own healing and working on not participating in negative self-talk, which is good, obviously. Claire C., so good to see you. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for being a member. Five of Wands on Monday, followed by at least three changes of plans for the weekend. Yep, makes sense. Um, and here's the Five of Cups reversed. So, um... So with two fives, there is that certain amount of conflict and just not being sure and not quite feeling comfortable, but it's often what comes before something really good. So you may be sort of energy may be brewing for you to create or produce or do something really good. Um, and with the five of cups reversed, I think you did a good job staying positive this week, which was necessary. I see it, Lisa E. Thank you. Thank you. And in fact, Lisa E., you're up next. I'm going to take care of both of you right now. Um, Monday, the Nine of Swords, I remember. And it was reversed, which is good. And now the reverse Seven of Cups. And so I just feel like it is almost like you are learning some new skills of emotional regulation that you have been working on this week. And I, I think that's a good thing. And for Jenna... Monday got, she got the Empress reversed, and this has been a popular card today as well. Uh, today she's getting the Four of Pentacles reversed. I feel like, I feel like as you're learning to regulate your energy, a lot of her energy does feel a little dysregulated, but I think that's for reasons and kind of age appropriate. And so I think we're just managing and that's okay. What she needs to know is we can see her trying to manage things really well. And a lot of the time she's doing it. So it's actually good, right? SJ, good to see you. Thanks for being here. King of Wands reversed. This week, I feel like you didn't get as much done as you wanted to. Um, and you may not be feeling 100%, but there's a lot here that is really good as well. And you did accomplish a lot this week as well. All right, J.D. Estrada, good to see you. You had a tense week, and it was the Nine of Swords reversed. All righty. So starting with the Nine of Swords reversed and ending with the Star reversed. You know, the way things are going, it is hard to remember to be hopeful. But I think this week you tried to balance it out. You tried to stay as hopeful as you could, and that is the right thing. You must continue on, even though this feels excruciating. You must continue on being hopeful because there is every reason to be hopeful. You too, Lisa. Thank you so much. Santiago, good to see you. Here's a card for you. The King of Wands reverse. This is, you're not the first person to get this. This is becoming a popular card today. Um, I feel like this week, I mean, it's fine. There's nothing wrong, but I feel like you're not kind of where you want to be doing what you want to be doing. And that became very clear to you this week. So I feel like you're kind of thinking about, well, how can I change this? What can I change? And, and that's a good thing to, to think about. 
Oh, you're very welcome, JD. Very welcome. Okay. Free Shadow. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a member. Thanks for using members only emojis. Love the strategy session last night. It was so great to have you there. Yes. Yes. Um, okay. Oh, and Caroline, you watched the replay. That's good. Pamela Laith, yours is the next request. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a member. Here is your wrap-up card, the Two of Wands. I think for the first time in a long time, you are able to kind of look to the future in an easier way. And that feels good. So I do feel like this week was kind of a turning point for you and in a positive way. Vaishali, so good to see you. Thanks for being here. The Emperor, I think you did a great job doing everything you needed to do this week, Vaishali. Getting a lot done, earning the respect of the people around you. Very good, very good. So I did not see a card request for Free Shadow. Did you request a card, Free Shadow? Did you, did you? I do not see it. Or did we already do it? I don't know, but let me know if you want a card because I'm happy to do it. All right. So who's next? Nalini. Nalini, thanks for being here. Thanks for being a member. Thanks for using members only emojis. Monday, you had justice reversed. And there's that king of wands reversed again, getting to be kind of a popular card. And I just, I, I feel like you're kind of in your feels this week. That's fine. Oh, Pamela Leith, it was just before you. Okay, I'll go back and find it. Thank you. Thank you. Um... Nalini, with this King of Wands reversed, I, I just feel like you're not feeling in your power. Like the homework would be to really find your energy and find your power. But for right now, just take care of yourself. And if what you need to do is hang out with a juice box and a cookie and watch your favorite TV show, by all means do that. Because you need, you need to do what you need to do to feel better. That's the key. Okay, let me go back. Oh, there it is. Would love a card. Yes. I see it. Sorry, Free Shadow. I really apologize for that. Duh. <laughs> I, I caught the second part of the comment and not the first. I do apologize. Free Shadow, thanks for being a member. Thanks for using members only emojis. Here's a card for you. The Ten of Wands. I feel like this week was kind of heavy. Maybe you, you worked a lot. Maybe there's a lot on your mind. Maybe you have a lot of responsibility. But the important thing to remember is that you've handled everything swimmingly. Um, you're doing a good job. And it's hard. You don't really want to do it like this forever. But for now, good job. There it is. All right. Thank you for your patience. All right, now, where where the heck am I? No. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. That That's what I get for reading too quickly. Okay, hang on. Just a Nalini. And Joyous Ocean. Um, Ashley, I think you're up... Um, did, yes, good to see you, Joyous Ocean, and yes, you did. Um, yes, you have missed yourself and Jada, and I think they were interesting. I, if I remember correctly, they were pretty interesting. <laughs> yes, my hermit cat would sleep by the fire. It was a tiring week. I was dragging myself to work and home. I have a busy social weekend and no energy. I hear you. I hear you. All right, Ashley, you are up next. I'll get to you. Free shadow. I, I should be able to handle it without a question mark, man. I'm sorry. Um, Ten of wands right on point. Yeah, makes sense. All right. All right. Here we go, Ashley. Here's your card for the end of the week. The four of wands. I think you had a good week. 
I think you might have spent time with people you care about. I think you might have had some fun. I think you might have been creative. Um, all within the, you know, being stable and taking care of what you have to take care of. So very well done. Jackie Masters, so good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a member. Thanks for using members only emojis. Started the week with the fool reversed. And end with the five of wands reversed. I feel like you dodged so many bullets this week. Sorry for the very American term. Um, what's another way of saying it? Like you avoided, you danced through a lot of situations and crises this week, I think. Um, so well done. Like you managed not to have problems where problems could have easily arisen. All right. Teresa, good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a member. Thanks for using members only emojis and thanks for being a moderator. Just had a pooth, a pooth told, a tooth pulled. I'm so sorry. Monday was judgment reversed. And now we have the four of cups reversed. This has been a popular card today. Um, I think you've done just, mm. I'm putting these two cards together in a very specific way. I feel like this week you might've had some healing, some revelation, some realization that in the past you put up with too much and you're finding some healing for that now. All right, Milk and Honey Tarot, you are up next. Thanks for being here. Oh gosh, I just overscrolled. Give me a second. There you are. There you are. Lovers reversed on Monday. I've had to set boundaries and explain some things to others this week. Not at all surprising. And Ten of Cups reversed. I mean, there's nothing like that to figure out who your real friends are and who's really got your back. And I think some of that is hard and some of that is disappointing, but it is better to know than not to know. And honestly, the more you make room for good stuff, the more good stuff will be there. Baby Cakes, good to see you. Thanks for being here. Baby Cakes, Ace of Pentacles reversed. Like I really think right now the whole focus is on the job search. Looking for the job, looking for the job. And that's the energy of the week. And, and that's appropriate. You know, on some level, that's going to be your energy until you get the job. Wendy Robison, good to see you. Thanks for being here. Here is a card for you. Three of Cups reversed. So this was our collective card. So it's especially powerful. I feel like there's some things that happened this week that maybe made you sad or maybe some things that didn't happen that you wanted to have happen. So there's a sense that basically you have not had enough fun and you need to have more fun. That's what I'm going to say. And going back to you, baby cakes, I hope you're still with us. Um, I feel like you need to feel grounded and know that everything's okay, that you might be feeling a little ungrounded. Okay, Maria Baresi, so happy to see you. <laughs> Martha, here's a fun fact that you'll enjoy. I'm sitting in my church sanctuary listening to you. Well, I mean, you and I have been in church and church-like settings together on numerous occasions. So good, good that that's happening. I'm, I'm okay with that. Of course, like I have a secret thrill. I mean, you know I love you, Martha, but I have a secret thrill that I have Martha the pastor as a member of my channel. I mean, that, that you know, you know that, that just makes me so happy. All right, Maria. Eight of Wands reversed. I feel like there were some frustrations this week, some things you're trying to get together, get in order, get moving. It's not happening as quickly or as easily as you would like it to. And that's difficult and frustrating. And, and so I feel like this week you're dealing with some of that. Lumen, good to see you. Thanks for being here. 
Queen of Swords, this week you did a good job knowing the truth, speaking the truth, staying in your own mind with the truth, even if other people were trying to dissuade you from it. So well done. Okay. Topeka, good to see you. Thanks for being here. The moon reversed. I think this week you did a good job figuring out what is true and what is not true. Um, so very well done. Martha Vink, here is a card for you. And thank you so much for being here. And thank you for being a member. The Eight of Swords. There are some things this week that really caused you some concern and anxiety. Um, it's okay to take time to find answers. That's, that's really key. Oh, baby cakes. Good. Thank you for hearing that. Lumen, where do I get these cute cards? These were a gift from someone on this channel and they came to me used. Um, the Weird Cat Tarot by Gabriel Cash. It's self-published. You could look it up online. I have no idea beyond that. But I know, aren't they great? Okay, Kristen Louise, here we go. The Eight of Cups reversed. I feel like this week you really had to stand your ground on something and it cost you. It was hard. It took energy. But I think it was really the right thing to do. So well done. All right. Friends, from my perspective, we've gotten to the end of the list. If I accidentally missed you, if you have not made your request yet, it is last call for readings, y'all. If I accidentally missed you, I am so sorry, but please do reiterate. And uh, if you're just getting here, you're just in the nick of time. So let's get her going. So, um, if you're celebrating a holiday this weekend, I certainly wish you the very best one. And, um, oh, feedback. Jackie, that was on point. It was a busy week. People with short fuses. I work with a lot of fire people. I understand completely. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Ness, they're available on Etsy. The Weird Cat Tarot is available on Etsy, everyone. I drooled over them, but they're spendy. Yeah, the indie decks are spendy. That is true. That is true. All right. My friends, remember Monday we have Global Tarot Circle. I will be back tomorrow for your Saturday Psychic Sampler. Happy Easter to everyone who celebrates. I love Easter. I love the egg hunts. I love the concept of resurrection, the joy of resurrection, um, the idea of that kind of hope. Um, the babies aren't quite ready for Easter egg hunts, but, but you can gar be guaranteed that when they are, I shall be the hider of Easter eggs for them. Oh, oh, Kristen, there's some feedback. Had to prove myself to coworkers, did a presentation of my work. Def stood up for myself. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right. My friends, thank you so much. I really appreciate all of you. Hey, La Morena. Hi and bye. <laughs> Good to see you. Thanks for being here. Uh, my friends, take really good care. I will see you soon.